on filming. Hello! I was just trying to take you out of the car thing, and then you started filming. So, bye! <laughs>
We're going to magic cuts. <laughs> Why is the video? It's a vlog. Do you know you're doing this again? Do you have anything to say to your fans? <laughs> no, I didn't even know I had plans. You don't really. I didn't think I so. just wanted you to feel better about yourself. Do you guys want a video with him in it? What do you want to see? Let me know. know. Hey! It's like you're possessed. I am possessed. We're going to my local thrift store so called Tully's. Okay, so if you're gonna make me explain shit, then let me talk. We're going to Tully's, which is my local thrift store. Happy now? And we're gonna donate some books because I'm a good citizen. She's like, you need to explain because nobody knows what Tully's is. Even though I've talked about Tully's so many times. What do you have to say for yourself? I got nothing to say for myself. <laughs> You're just being a jerk. How can you be offended by that? Rude. <laughs> Look, it's a person. They're like, why, why are you talking to the camera? And I'm like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> so I donated 10 books. So I got five more. <laughs> I have no self-control. <laughs> it's now Thursday and I've spent my whole morning reading. It's 9 a.m. I have to go pick up Ricardo and bring him to work soon. But I thought I would update you guys before I left to do that. I finished What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick and I really did not like it. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was so slow. Literally nothing happened in it. It's 400 pages long and I was bored for more than half of the story. I also found the main character extremely annoying and I just wanted to punch her in the face half the time. So yeah, definitely would not recommend this, but... There you go, it's done. And then last night I made it to 180 of Miss Peregrine's and it's okay. It's not anything like super amazing. I think because I know the story, I'm not really caring about it. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody else get that way? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm gonna go pick up Rafardo now and bring him to work because I'm a great little girlfriend. <laughs> What's wrong? Because you're hurting my heart. Because <laughs> you're kicking me out. I'm just trying to film a video. I can't just, film when you're I'm here. I'm disabled. You're not disabled, you're frozen. Stop crying, I you little cook. bitch. <laughs> Was that good that I turned that on? No. I'll just sleep. No, I just get sleep. out. I sit, oh. Get out. <laughs> Go cry in the other room. I'll come give you a I hug later. I don't want to cry in the other room. I won't cry here. You let me watch you open the freaking box. That's not how love works. It is. In my heart it is. Your heart's fucked up. <laughs> Jane. Mary Ann. I think you should tell them the story about the two guys you sat beside at the fracture clinic with me. Oh my god. We're at the fracture clinic because my mom had to get these shots in our shoulder for her rotator cuff because she like tore it. We've been over this. These two guys were sitting beside me and I was going to punch them so hard. Every second word out of their face was fuck. And it was like they were so loud and they were sitting like this close to each other and they're screaming at each other. And I was like. I just didn't stop talking. And I was like bros. You're right beside each other. Unless one of you is like secretly 90 years old and hard of hearing, you really don't <laughs> need to be speaking this like loudly. Everybody. But they were just talking about how like their friend was pussy whipped and I was like, why are we having this conversation? I didn't hear that part. I oh heard my the, God. It was like, I heard, I heard the part about the guy going, now that she knows that I want to buy a house and I have a really good car. Um, and I, I, the sky is the limit for me that it's just like, no, I'm just not into you anymore. Yeah, and then obviously she would be into me because, like, I'm doing so well. And that was probably an hour and a half of these two because they were the number ahead of me. Yeah, an hour and a half of nonstop, just every other word being fuck. And uh, they kept using the R word and I was going to punch them out. I was like, it's 2018. Let us choose another word. But you didn't say anything. No, because I don't like confrontation. But the whole time I was just like... And everybody else that was there was quiet and reading or sleeping or whatever. I had to wait two hours in the waiting room for these stupid shots. That wasn't it for one shot it for took a forever. 10, 15 appointment. The needle was minute. literally this big. And I'm scared of needles, but I am here for moral support. You're welcome. <laughs> it was literally hiding while she was getting the shot and she had my hand in like a vice grip and I'm pretty sure she broke my hand, but <laughs> we we made it. So that's But what's good. your what's your thank you present? I got a sandwich bigger than my head, so I was and? happy. And she's making me cookies. Say hello. Oh. <laughs> Ricardo got 24 items, except he already ate half of them. So. Another round? Half of this one, yeah. It just, it just keeps coming. It's just, there's so much, and just, how? How are you not 300 pounds? Is it hot? Hi, 
it is now Friday. I just had to drive home from work and your girl forgot that there's a huge road closure on the road back to my house. So it took me like 50 minutes to get home instead of the usual like 15. So that was fun. I finished a book at work today. So that's exciting. I finished Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Haven't talked about that yet because I forgot that I was reading that but it's basically about this girl named Emma who 15 years ago she went to this camp called Camp Nightingale and then her cabin mates went missing one night and it's basically her 15 years later getting invited to go back to the camp and it's like unraveling the mystery of what happened to the girls and how she was involved and blah 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 but it was actually pretty good I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars just because the beginning dragged on forever and it didn't get interesting until like 75% of the book was over and then it was like okay this is pretty good but for that first 75% I was like can something please happen but nothing happened and I also got to page like 320 something of this peregrine so I'm almost done that probably gonna finish it when I go inside because there's only like 20 pages left so might as well finish it because I got nothing to do with my life tonight. I lost my earring at work today. Where did it go? I have no idea. So now I have to go find another pair of earrings that I can actually wear because I'm allergic to like everything. It's like 7 o'clock p.m. now. I just came back from a run which is why I'm like super duper tomato-y face. I ran 4.25 kilometers in 21 minutes, which is like meh. Probably could have done better, but it is so hot and humid out that I was like <laughs> after like five minutes in my to my run. So like that, that did not go well, but hey, I did it. Still not skinny. Maybe one day we'll get there. Back to the good old days when your girl played basketball for 25 hours a week and she was a stick. You know, it would probably help if I stopped eating everything in my fridge at 11.30 at night, but like, I get hungry, okay? And I have no self-control. It's a problem. We're working on it. Not very well, but bite me, okay? I thought I would update you because I finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and I'm probably gonna give it a 3.5, I think, because I knew the story. I wasn't like amazed by it like everybody else seems to give it five stars and I was just kind of like mm, yeah I'm interested to see where the story goes and I have the two other books and I know that the fourth one is coming out like next year I think so might as well just read the other two so that I can prepare for the fourth one I now have to pick my next read which I honestly have no idea what it's gonna be probably one of the other two books that my mom picked for my TBR. It's either going to be The Telling by Alexandra Saroy or The Last Name of Stara, who I can't remember who it's by, but it's a new release, so I'm sure y'all have heard of it before. I'm also listening to The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead on audio. It's probably what I'm gonna end up doing tonight because I honestly do not want to hold a book because I'm lazy and hot and I just need a shower right now. Say hello. Oh, We're getting frozen yogurt. Mine just looks like vomit in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Hers up just looks kind of... Yes, yeah, so I, I ordered a bowl of vomit. <laughs> kind of like what came out of your nose today. <laughs> yeah, I, I was sleeping and I puked out of my nose. It was a good Which time. Which is gross right there. It was um, not a fun time. I did not enjoy it. Not a good experience. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. What did you get? What's in mine? Yeah. Peanut butter yogurt, Reese's peanut butter cups, and chocolate brownies and chocolate sauce. Mine's better. Mine's, of course it is. Mine's peanut butter yogurt with peanut butter chips with coconut Reese's. and Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups, mini and regular size, and cookie dough and sprinkles and peanut butter sauce. You say cook I think that's gonna make you barf. I think you're gonna barf I'm not gonna out barf. of your nose. <laughs> nope, not likely. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I just got off work. It's 5 p.m. I spent the entire day just pretty much reading. I got to page 190 of The Telling by Alexander Soroy and I was super worried about this book because I read The Creeping by Alexander Soroy and I absolutely hated it. This one is so much better than The Creeping. I think this is her second book and The Creeping was her first and like the improvement is crazy. Like I'm not even halfway through yet so it could go downhill from here but hopefully it doesn't. It's about this girl named Lana who's 
brother dies and then she finds a dead body and it's connected to her brother's death. Mom and my dad and I are gonna go get hamburgers from some hamburger joint for dinner that I've never been to but they both really like. I don't even like hamburgers but your girl wants to be fed so your girl's gonna go and maybe I'll get like lettuce as a bun because I hate hamburger buns. I'm totally fine like eating any other type of bread but hamburger buns and hot dog buns I will not touch. Nope. I'll eat hamburgers but I'll like cut it up with a fork and knife and just eat the meat because I can't deal with the buns. I think they're disgusting. I, just, I think it's like a taste aversion thing. Like maybe I got sick off of them one time and like it just grosses me out now. It's probably just uh, a severe <laughs> <laughs> And I'm done my hamburger. Are you still going? You said three bites. Two bites. bites. Three bites. I have half of mine. Half. Half. Real great. Apparently. And we're done. He can't finish his fries. I already started the fries. Attempting to finish. Done. Working on it. Done the hamburger. I'm so disappointed in all of you. That was like a five minute meal. Guess who messed up their foot and they can't walk? This girl. I've been running for about two weeks now and I've been wearing my old running shoes which are like three years old. Basically they have no more support in them and the cushioning is like shot to shit. So I've basically been running barefoot on concrete for the past two weeks and my foot finally decided that enough is enough and I can't walk. I've been icing my foot but having the ice on makes pain like shoot up my leg. So it's not exactly a fun time and I'm really mad because I wanted to go for a run but like I can't walk so my plan for tonight is just keep icing and I guess read all night so I mean that's good but I have to go to work tomorrow so that's not gonna be fun that's the update of my life right now and I'm real pissed at myself and the world and my foot hurts mommy is my nurse because I don't think you would put it on if I didn't come up and no I don't I know like it <laughs> I don't <laughs> want it I know. It's cold. See you in 20. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye. It's now Sunday, June 10th, which is actually the first day of Cramathon, which is a readathon that I host with three other super awesome booktubers. I'm ending this read a vlog now because I'm going to actually be doing a Cramathon read a vlog, so I figured I should actually start on the first day of Cramathon. I'm actually going to work in like 10 minutes. I'll probably have a lot of reading done, but you can see my update for what I actually read today in my Cramathon read a vlog, so I will see you all in that video. Goodbye!